Okay, a very quick video tonight. Just a little one. Exfoliation corrosion. Um, tends to happen on extruded sections. Uh, it may be a defect during the heat treatment or there's some part of the process, maybe impurities. Um, but what we have here, there's a section out. This is a wing spar, a main spar. Okay, that's the joint plate where the wing attaches to the fuselage with these six bolts. Is the wing. Um, now this gap here is where a section is missing and the section that we've taken out here has a, it's subject to an inspection every 24 months by taking off the undercarriage and working your way in with little cameras, endoscopes and bits and pieces and feeling all along it, it's been cut here, so don't worry about that bit. But what you find, the first thing you'll usually find with exfoliation is a bulge if you run your finger over it. And when you pick at it, you usually find something like that, layers um, of material sort of expanding underneath the surface. The problem is eventually, it's going to look like this and that can happen relatively quickly this was inspected 24 months ago and it wasn't like that okay so it is a problem we are finding it on these repeat inspections luckily it's repairable in this case but just I mean really the metal goes home very very quickly all right now it is repairable um, and fasteners are gradually coming in. The new spar section should be here on Monday and I had a ream of ground for these oversized bolts, Joe bolts, high locks. Similar things go by various names. These are the, uh, yeah, these are the ones with the hex key in the end. Um, now I'll try and put a little bit of that on video if I get time. Of the, of the repair process and the cleaning process and we'll see how it goes. Okay, on, on an unrelated note, when I took the gear off this aeroplane, the landing gear, I thought we'd give it a bit of a service. I don't know, seemed kind of tight and it looked a bit bent. Well, I put some V-blocks in the... Oh, I just rested it in a couple of V-blocks. Pop an indicator on it there. And guess what? It's very bent. So, maybe from one side to the other, it's nearly 200 thou off at the bottom there. And that's a typical place where they bend. You can see I've got my V blocks kind of at the top. The bend is, you can almost see it, the bend is about four inches up from the welded stub axle. Okay. And there's someone out there who will know they've landed it hard enough to do that, but of course nobody ever says anything. So, well, if you're looking for exfoliation and bent landing gears and you've got Flying Club airplanes, you're going to find it and it'll work, so I shouldn't complain, but I do.